What I like best about my job, I'm learning to create and getting paid at the same time. What I like about this job is working outdoors and working with the people. The best part of my job is that I work outdoors and they're always going to be road to faith. On the road to opportunity, how do women and minorities fit in DOT Highway's construction workforce? On-the-job training supportive services is an incentive program designed by the U.S. Federal Highway Administration. Congress established the program as a special section of the Federal Aid Highway Act of 1968 after congressional hearings found the absence of women and minorities in the highway industry. The Federal Aid Highway Act of 1968 without a question has provided an open door for women and minorities that was not there before. This is not to say that there were no opportunities, but it assisted in breaking down the stigma or foregone conclusions that some occupations were best suited for or only offered to white males. OJT's purpose is to allow women and minorities to learn new trade skills, which give them the opportunity to advance while staying on the payroll. You learn everything right there. You don't have to go to school for it. It's easily done if you got good people that'll work with you and you know are willing to train you. The on-job training helped me out a great deal. When I came here, the only thing I knew how to use was a shovel. They taught me how to use the rake, the loop, the, how to operate the rollers, the backhoes, and how to run the paver and turn the jack. So the on-job training helps me out a great deal. The Federal Highway Administration has set specific training goals in relation to women and minorities employed on FHWA's funded highway construction projects for the United States. The North Carolina Department of Transportation has implemented FHWA's OJT program to ensure a more diverse employee base in highway construction. With growing demands, the NCDOT has to be sure they can meet the needs of our traveling public. Therefore, women and minorities must be included in highway construction for entry-level positions to managerial positions. NCDOT has furthered its support by implementing an affirmative action plan that ensures non-discrimination in hiring, employment, and training practices. As a contractor, you have to be committed to training the trainee. The OJT structured program includes designated trainers, standardized criteria, lesson plans, and checklists. Training is tracked and recorded to measure training accomplishments. One of the primary objectives of the OJT program is to train and upgrade women and minorities toward journey level status. As a result, the NCDOT has an annual enrollment of 150 to 175 in the OJT program. I never thought that I could work road construction, but the OJT program showed me that it's just as easy for a woman as it is for a man. The OJT program is very beneficial, helps you learn new skills, and makes you feel more valuable as an employee. Contractors must make good faith efforts to recruit women and minorities for highway construction jobs. The training requirement binds the contractor to upgrade a number of trainees specified in the proposal of the program. Construction employs 5.3 million people in the United States. There are two types of training programs. The apprenticeship, which includes pairing a trainee with a journey level employee, and self-administered on-the-job training programs. The Department of Labor approves and administers the apprenticeship program. In North Carolina, most training is done through approved on-the-job training programs. This program has helped me to get more knowledge about my job and, hey, more money too. The contractor provides the training and supervision of an employee who is enrolled in both the apprenticeship and the OJT training programs. What types of employees can qualify for this training? Every highway construction worker, from air compressor operators to welders, can take advantage of this training. On average, the training takes 1,040 hours or more to reach journeyman level, depending on your classification. Construction is the largest industry in the world, and there are 250,000 new jobs created each year in the construction industry. Using the OJT program, 
a variety of career choices and potential awaits every highway construction engineer. Some advice that I would give to women minorities coming into the construction workforce was to be ready for anything. You need to have a tough skin and be ready for all the different challenges that could come about. You have to be ready for the hot weather, the sun, the rain, snow, all different kinds of environments. You have to be willing to work with different types of people that you might not be used to. A lot of them are older than you are, some of them are younger, and a lot of them have different personalities. Many contractors offer on-the-job training programs. A good student can learn while they earn. They are capable of picking up many tricks of the trade by being on site and developing their skills. The North Carolina DOT's on-the-job training program is very beneficial for our women and minority employees. We have employees who have not been exposed to highway construction and it allows them to see the possibilities. They know there's a structured format, they know what to expect, and our supervisors have a structure to conduct the training. What we particularly like about North Carolina DOT's OJT program is the flexibility. We have the leeway to get our training hours in where we need them. Motorists depend on the skill and knowledge of those who design, construct, and maintain our roadway systems. The highway industry needs smart, skilled professionals to ensure our roads are safe and worry-free. There are plenty of benefits that come with a career in highway construction, insurance, retirement and freedom of the outdoors, and on-the-job training. There is a place for you in the highway construction industry. A career in the industry will leave you with lasting achievements and contributions that our society depends on. Using programs like on-the-job training will increase women and minority populations in every classification in the highway construction industry. Today, women and minorities are a part of the growing and diverse North Carolina highway construction industry. There will always be a need for quality built, safe, dependable roads and bridges as long as motorists are on the move. Using women and minorities, our skilled workforce will be able to compete in today's competitive transportation and construction industry. Future travelers will be assured of an exciting new future of a well-maintained interconnected transportation system. The future looks bright for women and minorities on the road to opportunity.